Yeah, that's pretty interesting, huh? I love it so much. I love it last time I was here, too. I love it. You haven't put anything on this since the last time you've done it? Nope. You know me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any requests? Uh, a lot shorter okay. and then dark again like you did last time. Do you like the dark? Yeah, I like the dark. I think dark looks good on you. What I really like about the dark hair on you mm -hmm. is that when you put on your full makeup and your eyelashes when and everything, I, well, I you're very really, yeah, really, it's very, really striking. <laughs> You know, so that looks cool. That looks really good. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'll take it a lot shorter this time to really grow out. Yeah. And then I'm going to take it much, much darker. Okay. And uh, and this go around, I'm either going to, because your skin absorbs so much, mm -hmm. I am going to protect your hairline. Okay. So that we see color within the lines, if at all <laughs> possible. But, I mean, your hair grows so far down, it's hard not to get a little bit over the edge. But I'm going to put conditioner around the edge of you there. So. Okay. Then I'll go mix and put that together. Cut. My conversation yesterday was, I don't even care what, car, you know, good, they found your car, if you can find somebody to get you a muffler, blah, 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 yeah. but get it through your head that the insurance for someone like you is like 300 bucks because of your age yep. and your gender, and uh, you're going to have to deal with that. So, he's going to work, we'll work it out a little bit at a time. Right after my big book deal. Coochie, coochie, coo, money. We're all tonight, honey. Mm. Yeah, but he's a pretty cautious driver. Makes me laugh. Not a hot rodder, you know. St. Grandma was pressing her to go. Yeah, they all give him hell because he drives like a grandmother, you know. I didn't want you looking at yourself, so I kept it around the other way. Oh, smart. Because I, I watch you. I would have yes. critiqued it. Yeah. yeah, I watch you. The whole time. I would have. I would have critiqued it. Yo. Exit. Cut. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not dumb. That looks awful. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> On my show, you're allowed to. Are you playing in the center? Yep. All around the edge of her hair view here. Because... I can't hold on to it for like days. Yeah, poor baby. Hmm. Well, that's okay. What was the best makeup artist and hair person you worked with? Ooh. Um, I didn't, you know. Yeah, there were two. Um, there was one girl, and it's terrible that I can't remember her name, but she did my makeup for the finale. Because mm -hmm. um, she looked great. Yeah, she did an amazing job. And then, honestly, there was another one that did my makeup for um, my photo shoot for Livia, the, um, the supplement that I endorsed for right. here. Yeah, when I went out to do the photo shoot and the the, the TV commercial shoot for um, them, she did an amazing job too. She was the first person that um, did the airbrushing, the airbrushing gun with the foundation on me. Right. Yeah, she was good too. What did you like about being airbrushed? Um, I, I just thought it was neat. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I just thought it was really cool. Queens do it, you know, like drag queens will do it because it makes their skin just flawless. Oh, does know, it? Like I was like, I just thought it was neat. I was all impressed. Yeah, you can. Blasted all over there. And, and then, if I'm going to be honest, my favorite makeup person ever, and it's going to sound so weird, Aida over at Nordstrom, the Lancome counter. She did my makeup, like, um, when they'd come up and shoot in Alaska, because they didn't do your makeup day to day for the show. The only time they ever did your makeup was the finale. Right. So, if I knew that they wanted to shoot, like, a big going out scene and they wanted me to do makeup, I'm terrible at doing my own makeup. I'm I just, whatever. And um, so, I would book Aida over at Nordstrom. So, every time you see me in makeup on national TV, it's Aida over at the Lancome counter at Nordstrom. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, she was amazing. And she's not getting paid a dime to say that. No, I'm not. She's amazing. Yeah. Would they, uh, so they didn't really care about your hair and makeup other than when they Oh, no, no, no. Stuff? They pressured you to do it, oh. but um, they wouldn't provide me to do it. Oh, oh, food. Yay. Yeah. Mr. Shane, you can go clean a space first in the bathroom and get this on there. We can go eat. Thank we you. do eat. Thank I you. Do. No problem. Yummy. Yeah, I see, doesn't it smell good? I love the vegetable pizza. Like, yeah. yeah. That was fast, too. What? Oh, yeah. There's nobody over there, and they have the oven. It only takes 10 minutes. Nice. Yeah, I like the fact that you can have your thin crust and your vegetables and your, you know, it's not, I mean, if you think about it, 
is everything good to eat in a meal. It's just the trick is not to eat the whole fucking thing all by right? yourself. Right, exactly. Let's eat the whole thing. You know, I was thinking about that hair and makeup question too, and um, it's funny, my hair for the finale, mm -hmm. so like I just didn't do anything with my hair all through the whole thing. I just didn't right. bother with it. And um, right before the finale, I was living in Nashville, New Hampshire, and I walked into the mall and my hair was driving me crazy. Right. And I went into something like, I don't know, like a hair cutter or Regis or some like New England brand of that. Right. And I went in and I told her about everything about the finale and all that, and I was like, just cut it all off. She was so scared. She was so intimidated. <laughs> she did not yeah, want to touch it. She okay, did not want, and that's what I wanted her to do. And she's like, are you sure? Are you, like the whole time she's cutting my hair. Are you sure you want to go this short? Are you sure? And I'm like, just cut it off. When I worked for one of those national chains 500 years ago, yeah. uh, Cameron Diaz had gotten a really bad hair color somewhere. And they had put it in the uh, monthly newsletter that she had gone to one where she was on location after this film shoot or whatever she was doing, and uh, to go in to get them to fix her hair. And she just ran in the mall because she knew where she was located would be the only place that would yeah. do the best for her. Yeah. And then she went. So I think it just really depends on the artist. I'm like, the lady did a good job. She's just so nervous the whole time. Well, of course, it's, it's starstruck. Cut it, just cut it. Yeah. Why don't you work with all stars at the bar? You yeah, right. With anyone, you know, it doesn't matter. I think that's the one thing about Alaska that is so fun is that we're all not starstruck. Yeah. You know, I so many famous the people. Majority, yeah. Yeah, so many famous people come here to travel on their vacation as well that we, we don't care. Yep. You know, so you're whatever, big deal. When you're fishing, you all look white. Yep. You're all fat and dirty and smell like butt spray. <laughs> Did you want something? Bring you like a breadstick. Oh, and we, uh, do you want a breadstick or something while we're doing your hair? Do you want to wait until I get it applied? I'll wait until you get it applied. I'm good. Okay. So in the morning, when you would get ready for filming, run me through like your hair and makeup for that. How there isn't. That? Ever. Sure. Ever? Nope. You just did it. Yep. You just got up and went. Awesome. Yeah, no. That's what I look like. It's so funny, my dad, my dad's so cute, he called me one time and he was like, get a high definition TV. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, you look just as good in high def as you did. And I was like, thanks, dad, I appreciate that. He's like, oh, I'm not kidding. He's like, some of the ladies on that show, you can see their pores now, and it's no good. Okay, dad. Thank yep, you. Yep, exactly. I was reading some magazine article or blog, and I, I don't recall which. Yeah. And uh, that they were saying that a lot of people are really complaining that our in the entertainment business because high definition makes them look bad. Yeah, you can see them. Yeah, that's what you really look like. That's why I just figured out, start off at the bottom of the barrel, sweetie. That way anything that happens to you, you can only go up. Right? You want to yeah. Better. Let's drag her out from underneath the bushes and make her famous. Look at her. Oh my god, she looks so good. Like now. Yeah, diamond in the rough. Hey, hey, in the wind. Yeah. That's a way back there reference. Yeah, hey. hey. <laughs> it's funny. So yeah, even though it's perceived to be glamorous, wasn't glamorous at all. No, 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 no. There's no hair and makeup or anything like that. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I quit. It's yeah, you people don't know what I have to put you little people. It's you know? funny that people think that though. Well, right, because it's entertainment business. Yeah. Why wouldn't you think that? Let's yeah. go there. I mean, you know, you've been forced. The entertainment business perpetuates that because some of the uh, industry. Photos that they put out, they always have this. They have you in front of the camera, and that'll go on. But they always have some random camera over here taking yep. this behind the scenes. Yeah. So nobody has a clue that the scene is completely oh, yeah. staged yeah. because the whole thing is the entertainment facade. You know, my favorite thing is I get so amused by the, um, the magazine covers and magazine articles that are like celebs with no makeup, and they're very obviously have makeup on. Don't no. pay attention. Yes. Exactly. And even if they like don't or they have minimal makeup. They're well lit. Sure. And, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm like, they're lit so well that it's, right. it's not like you randomly Hi. caught them. And, yeah. yeah. Hi. Yeah, yeah, not so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not jumping uh, off the plane. I'm, <laughs> like, no makeup whatsoever, but like a good lighting team, you still look amazing. Right. Yeah. I'm a friend who does light and sound, and yeah, it's all about the lighting. Yeah. It's all about the films, and it's all about the blah, 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 blah. I mean, away you go. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's awesome. When we. I was contacted and I played a hairdresser in Drew Barrymore's movie. Nice. So, yeah, can you believe it? A hairdresser. I don't think I can do this role. I'm not sure I could do that. It's a stretch. Well, what am I supposed to do? Stretch here? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What is the hairdresser feeling? <laughs> Bitchy. What are the motivations? Yeah, what is it? You know, send me, give me, give me contacts. Contacts. <laughs> 
which I will be in. Yeah, oh god, it was hilarious. But the lighting crew was amazing. Like, yep. they had, for the, the shot on that big Panavision camera, right, so they have all of, you know, you're in the room, and it looks like, like we're sitting here like this, yet, there was all this additional lighting everywhere. They even had lights outside shining in the windows. Yep. There were these giant lights to make it look like a sunny day. Yep. And to and they were inside the door after they had these film over the windows, measuring it with a light meter to see if it was, you know, blah 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 blah. And setting the camera every time you turn around and was it it blew my mind. Like there were thousands of lights in there. And then when they did pickup shots or they did close ups. They had this guy, this big, huge old fat guy that came in, he was the boss that worked with the director's assistant and the director, and we need this kind of lighting, and he just said three words, five guys showed up, they didn't have to move stuff around because these were the experts. And then they put the light meter there, oh yeah, perfect, yep. instead of, well, stop, just a minute, no, we gotta reset that, or over here, blah, 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 none of that. No. These guys knew what they were doing, they click, it's on, yes. right? Yeah. There was, it was, that right there was like, ooh. And then their hair and makeup people had this amazing trailer, right? It was like this whole salon uh, in an 18-wheeler, which I wanted to hijack and do drive-bys everywhere. I could. Nice. Let's, let's pull that bitch in the back of this thing and mix it. sir. Yeah, exactly. And so they had this huge salon, you know, five-station salon on 18-wheeler. And those girls worked their asses off. And they weren't allowed to talk to people when they were on set. But they would chit chat with us a little bit while we were being prepared. Yep. But when they were on set, they were quiet. Yep. And it was all, you know, it's all uh, union. See, none of the people on the production line were union. See, it's union. Yeah. It was all union. Which is how they get cost down. Well, yeah, that's amazing to me. But what blew my mind was, uh, instead of the day extras, who was the last people to eat because of the union contracts? Hairdressers! Oh, wow. Right, so everybody goes through all the talent, all the lighting, all the gamers, right. all the camera, all the, you know, everybody, 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 everybody. And the last group of people through are the hairdressers. Then, the scabs of the day, you know, the yeah. daily people and the, and the uh, extras and whatever. Then you can eat what was left over. Yes. Right, and I thought that was like, hey, even though I'm talent on this, uh -huh. uh, yeah, I'm a hairdresser at Heart and Blue Crap, poor girls, you know. So it was that was that caught my attention. It was like, whoa, really? you know. Okay, calm down, I've got it. Exactly. It's funny, by the time it's an industry. People yeah, forget that. By the time we were allowed to eat at crafting. Um, it was when you came back to do the, um, the workout DVD shoot in front right. of the actual show, so that's you were allowed to do crafting. Right. You're not going to eat it anyway, you're in the middle of the competition. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. You're starving. That looks really good. You end up pretty good friends with um, like production assistants, and especially production assistants because you're with them 24 7. Right. And then um, the camera crew and the audio crew, especially the, the audio guys too. The audio guys are cool because yeah, they hear everything. The audio guys were awesome, yeah. actually. Yeah. They, um, one of the tricks that I learned that used to piss them off is if you're talking about something you didn't want them to hear, because then the mic. Right. Yeah, and so it would drive them crazy. They'd come over and be like, hi, knock it off. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh, this? It's a nervous tick. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Drive them nuts. <laughs> or like in the middle of like. Levels are always my problem. <laughs> That you know that they desperately want, or whatever, because it's you know gossip from the house or bullshit like that. Yes. You just drop it, and you're like anal sex, and then they can't use it at all, and they're like, you bitch, you can't use that sound. Yeah, it's so good. You're so mean. But that was by the end when you're just like so fed up that you're mean. I'm not mean. How dare you not give the big corporation what it needs? Right. Yeah. I'm like by the end, you're just so jaded. Or you learn, like, um, when you're throwing up, and if you don't want to use that footage, if you've worked out so hard you're barfing, you do this. Flip them off. Yep, because then they have to blur out your finger, so it blurs out your face, so they can't use the footage of you throwing up. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll remember that the next time I'm bulimic on a show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I love bulimia. <laughs> yeah, wild. Can I find more? Okay. Oh, yeah.
while we process, we're going to eat. Pizza! <laughs> Finish your haircut. Yay! <laughs> Don't put your clothes on. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a pig. What? I just burped it. You're on camera, Oinker. <laughs> I burped it. Put your head down for me and then cross your legs. Happen. Sit up straight. There we go. Want some short summertime hair then? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Oh, God. I just have no Okay, let's You know this dress is almost like a gay cheerleader's outfit. You are so funny. I think it actually looks kind of like my sister's prom dress. Hello, yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, that's cute. It's like, I feel so, what's the black chick that plays uh, tennis? Serena. Serena? Because my last name is Serena Williams. Serena or Venus? Yeah, I'm Sir Williams. <laughs> I'll take you down. Or slap my assistant or whatever it is. Oh, wait, that's Naomi. Yeah, it looks like that's Naomi Campbell. It's not working. Yeah, whatever it was. I'm sick of you. You're far. Bring me a new one. What I think is funny is when their looks or their popularity takes a puke and they get really dramatic trying to regain that searing heat of the spotlight. It's like, what are you doing? There's other ways to do it instead of a breakdown in the Air Force. Right. And they sent me to her, and she's like, I don't want to say anything. 
See, but a lot of people aren't cutting for aesthetic value, they're cutting for egotistical value. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Bad. It's 300 bucks and I did it and you're going to love it or yes. else. But by the time it was done, it I've done that, but this is people off. Does it? I'm like, by the time they fixed it, like I had a $1,600 haircut on my head. Eh. Yeah. That a girl. Yeah. I was like, you will fix this immediately. She was like, we all hated it. It looks so bad. And I was like, I know. I refuse to continue wearing it. Bad. You were a diva. No, it was bad. And you were still a diva. I made a because simple it, request. Even with somebody blush. who had no self-esteem would have been like, okay, I'll wear it. And you're like, no. no! I was wearing it. No. I would have shaved my head. Yeah. I would have. I would have. It was awful. Especially when the even when the producer knew it was like, hey, pony boy. I was like, eat a dick, AP. And then there was a there's a cameraman that had like the same hair at the same time and they kept standing as next to each other and calling us the Bobsy twins. It's like I hate you so much. And they're like, your hair is awful. I was like, I know. That's so bad. It's awful. It was, and then they think they're so cool though. Oh, he thought he was the cool like, yeah, he named drop like you wouldn't believe it was ridiculous. Sixteen hundred dollars for that haircut. Sixteen hundred dollars. Stupid. Way stupid. And the girl was so nice, because they weren't supposed to be, they would like touch her hair, you know? And, I, and she's like, do you want me to do your eyebrows? I was like, please God, do my eyebrows. Because we weren't allowed to leave the ranch to do anything. And I needed them done so badly, it had been like three months. She's like, I'm do that for you. Thank you, God. <laughs> right, so for continuity, it goes from to It does, day. it does. If you watch the show or whatever, you, it, like, I'm blonde and there's no explanation and suddenly I have dark hair again. Like, no explanation at all. Yeah. But it's funny because, like, I had, um, when I went there, I had, like, a faux hawk going on and stuff. And they loved it. And they came to me, like, mid-season and they're like, you don't spike your hair up anymore. I was like, it's grown out. Have you not noticed? Right. I was like, send somebody in to cut it and then I'll spike it for you if you want. Right. And they send somebody in to cut it and he's like, oh, I'm only allowed to take, like, an eighth of an inch off because of continuity. And I was like, but I can't spike it like they want. Right. Leave me alone. Make up your mind. Right? What do you want from me? Pick one. I'm sure the forecasting director that fixed me got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that There's was There's a way gone. to put your instant fame. Yeah, don't you ever pick a bitch like that ever again. You are sure. so... I'm like, I'm sure she's gone. Fired. Why the hell did we trust you? That bitch was horrible. Make good TV, that's all that matters. She probably got a promotion. You're right. I'm head of casting. <laughs> I'm head of casting. Thank you for that. Yeah, immediately. I don't even play that game. Mm -hmm. 
Because remember when they used to like actually have, you know, concerts here? Yeah. Vaguely. Yeah. That's because you're too new. <laughs> too new. In the 80s, when I was growing up, they actually used to bring all the big name rockers and people up here. Really? They'd do some crazy leg of the tour on the way back from Japan. Japan, yeah. Let's stop in Alaska and make an extra meal and go home. Kind of hell of it. Exactly. They had to refuel the planes. Right, gotta stop anyway. You're not feeling the razor cut this time? Huh? So were you not feeling the razor cut this time? If you look at it, it's, uh, yeah. That, I don't know, like, scissor. last time I just remember you are like, I'm going to take a razor to it. Okay, yeah, whatever, exactly. I trust you. This time I just did some cutting. What I'm not feeling is how it can be so short and cute and fun. And in six, and like crazy, look at that, like short, like, and yeah. can stand straight up. And in six weeks, it'll be. I know. It, yeah, it grows. That's the most, it might not be thick. Mm -mm, but it grows right now. But it grows like a weed. Exactly. I do. It's I was good told, for haircuts, though, when, when you can went, model haircuts, because you can turn and you can see, you can see it, it with your neck out, you know. When I went to get my measurements done for, um, you know, uh, they measured my neck to get my weight and all that, yeah. and the guy was like, I have never seen such a freakishly tiny neck measurement. And I was like, I don't know how to take that. Yeah. Thank you. Where am I thin? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right there. My neck. I was like, okay. <laughs> the weirdest thing anybody's ever said to me. You have a freakishly small neck measurement. Uh, okay. Well, see, you weren't totally fat. Right? My neck was thin. Yeah, exactly. Really thin. Freakishly. Freakishly, actually. I like when men use the adjective freakishly to describe me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shut up. Ew. Shut up. I can hear your brain. Yeah. I didn't say a word. I can hear your brain. I don't talk to you. I don't Botox, just for that reason. That has been probably in 22 years of being a hairdresser. That's the one thing that I've been faulted at the most is that I can't sit back here. <laughs> you can't deadpan it. Yeah, because I'm like. Everything shows on your yeah. face. Yeah. And yes. they'll be like, what are you going to say? Nothing. That's why I started talking too much because it distracted them from me going. I mean, the look on your face. Oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah. Why, God? Why? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, keep talking. That's fifty more dollars. You're so fun. You're so fun. Well, it is. It just can be whatever. It doesn't. You know, make it fun. I like how you always, every time you do it for me, you always make me way wilder than I am, I think. I know. You do that on purpose. Do you? I'm like, always. Right. My inner, it's my inner me. If you go to the hair salon, you really need to have your hair done. Or yeah. don't go. Or don't go. Exactly. I love the people that will come in and just wear, just depends on where, and they'll do the whole, a millimeter off, 
Oh, that drives me nuts. Just and look your exactly hair. the same. Yeah, yeah, just do your hair. And if one's out of place, they're just having a breakdown. No. You know, and it's like you went to the salon. So that's why most people like I show them when it's done. The first I play with it, you can see it looks like down yeah. or uncurled or unflat ironed or whatever. So they can see and, and then I'll do their hair. Yeah. You know, because that why are we here? You know. Don't waste your money and bore me to death. You know, it's hair, it's fun. Guess what? Grows back. Right? Exactly. Washes That's out. exactly how I feel about it. I'm like, it'll grow back. Get over it. Yeah. Grows back. Too yeah, bad. Some people that get all crazy. Some of my most progressive clients over the years have been cancer survivors because they had lost all that vanity at one time and had no control over it and got them over it. So now, I mean, if you want to have like this soccer mom with eight kids and pink hair because she got hair to be pink. Yeah. You know. I'm not allowed to. My job, if I was, my hair would be whatever color. That's a bummer. I know. I'm not allowed. Because they want you to look all natural. I guess. I don't know. You need to represent beauty and health. No. We had pizza and wine. We had pizza and wine today. Yeah, what's your treat? It was veggie pizza, red wine. Yeah. Back off. Exactly. My heart feels good. <laughs> Lower cheese. My heart is healthy. Yeah. Lower cheese. Well, we only had a little messy today. I'm proud of that. Yay. Here. Oh. It's all in your ear. It's gross. Is it? Yeah. Did it dye? It's all in my ear? No, hair. Oh, hair. I'm going to shower anyway. Eventually. Show up on Oh, thank you. Next time I'm gonna put conditioner down there. Keep it off. Better? Oh god, that's so much better. Look at it all. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. thank you. See what I'm talking about, though, when you turn to the side? Look at that, right there. That's, you know, you got a good look there. Not where you wiped it all over your stuff. <laughs> Let's do this side. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You could do haircut modeling because a lot of it's headshots. Yeah. Like that, because your neck, just fun. And your hair grows so goddamn fast. I was like, is that okay? Well, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs>